G'day Space Engineers and welcome to my Automatic Drill Drone Tutorial. A short guide on how to set it up with its GPS's as well as what the remote block needs to tell it where to go. Also stick around to the very end as I found a really useful way of that blank event controller from our in-depth tutorial in the top right hand side of your screen right now. If this world does not look familiar, it's because you haven't seen where we built this AI smart cargo drone to transfer resources from one platform or one connector to another, transferring resources like components or ores or whatever it is completely automatically. Today we'll be only using the trash disintegrator mod, even though if you don't have access to it, it should be a vanilla block in the game already in my opinion just replace this block here the trash disintegrator mod with as many connectors as you possibly can with the throw out function on as we want to remove any and all stone out of this drone as fast as possible to allow it not to fill up with stone and allow any ores like iron magnesium silicon etc to be entered into the cargo container and into this trigger cargo container specifically from that in-depth tutorial recommended earlier. So first things first, let's get in control of the drone and let's move it from your printer or where you built it to where you're going to dock it from then on. Let's go to the remote access and control its remote block directly. Button one is the camera we're viewing now. Button two is the rear facing camera used for docking. And from here, when you move the drone for the very first time, it is always recommended to turn the connector off using button three, as well as the merge block itself with button five. From here, you can then press button one, view the camera forward and move the drone as you wish. Here you go. What we're gonna do is just reverse it on back to the same connector and only turn button five, the merge block itself on as you connect it for the very first time we want the connector as it kicks us out of the remote control when it locked on we want the connectors as close as possible to place the very first gps needed for this drone to work and the only gps needed to be placed with the remote control and while in control of this drone itself the rest of them can be placed with your player or however you wish so let's get in control of this drone one more time and because it's connected to the base it's now changed the name but let's go into the control and what we want to do is just name the gps first we need to put what we want the game to recognize this command as and it's slash gps with a space anything after that is going to be what the gps is going to be named and in my opinion just call it either the drone's name and the dock so what drone and what's going to use it as well as where that gps is press enter when you're happy and press f or just exit out of the drone completely what we can do here with this connector since we've placed that already or even before as long as the merge block is connected, we can go ahead and just turn this connector on and it will lock automatically using an event controller as such. If you are curious, this is the connector and the event controller that tells it to lock when the connector is ready to lock. All explained in my in-depth tutorial. So from there, we can place any of the rest of the GPSs with our player and the ones needed for the base is literally one in front of the drone so let's just face the other way it doesn't really matter where the player or whatever it is is facing let's go ahead and put one right here gps dock close so there's one in front of the drone and the docking connector itself as well as if we just jump on top of the drone then turn our jetpack on to go nice and straight, straight above where we want it to go and just move away from the drone. So we're just a little bit in front of where it needs to go. 
from here, we can just do GPS doc high. And this GPS is specifically for if you have lots of things around it. So if you've got a huge, huge, huge wall on one side of the drone and you want it to just go that way, that's perfectly fine. It'll just clear anything out of the way and then go ahead and go. If the wall were to be on this side, perhaps, and let's just go ahead and do it, it would not work for the fact that that GPS and the one we're going to place where the ore is in that direction, the wall is obviously blocking its path. I have not yet worked in the collision avoidance and you just have to place another GPS, just say over here. So when the drone flies up away from the connector to that GPS, it would fly to where we are now and then over to the ore patch itself to do its job. All explained in the AI drone from scratch tutorial. There's two episodes and I'm sure you'll be a drone master by the end of it, as well as checking out the more advanced tutorial about this one. So with those three GPS's placed, that's all you need from there after building it. When you're out in the world and you find an ore patch, just say you come across something quite nice. Let's see if I can find it. There it is over there. Obviously the whiter the patch on the surface, the heavier and more dense the ore itself. But what we're looking for is just one GPS as it's all clear around it with that collision avoidance reminder and just place this GPS, just say a few big blocks away from the surface. So when the drone gets here, the drills don't hit the surface before getting to the GPS. It's able to get there if that makes sense. So what we want to call this is what the ore is or whatever you wish to call it. So there's another GPS right there, just named gold. Let's fly back to the drill drone and do the very last step is, re is program the actual remote block to tell the drone where to go and what to do. It's very simple actually, and it's already got the existing commands right here that you can use. Remember at the end, and I will show you, you need to remove all of them beforehand. So what we want the drone to do as we turn the autopilot on triggering this timer is to go up to the high dock, go over to where the gold is, to drill, come back out of the hole. So add the second same GPS right here. Let's scroll to the bottom. We've got the new dock high, one gold, two gold. We'll need to tell it to come back to the docking connector above it in front of the connector as well as on the dock itself. So from there, it's very simple and it's all laid out here. On the double up, you wanna trigger the two timer. And then on this one, you wanna trigger the seven timer. When it gets back to the dock itself, you'll just want to start the number eight or unload reset timer, which this timer here, you can actually trigger at any point while connected to your base and it will reset its programming ready and waiting for you to trigger it out to do another set of tasks. So back to the remote control, we've placed all the ones we need for it to go about its job. We need to tell it what to do when it gets to each of them. So at the very first GPS where the gold is just above it, remember, we want to trigger it to drill. So let's just trigger the second timer, drill trigger. No problem, it'll drill. Once it finishes drilling or missing the ore patch, depending, we want it to come back out of the hole and we want it to trigger the seven timer or the return to base timer. Nice and easy, nice and simple, just like so. When it gets back to the docking connector itself, we just want to start the unload reset timer as such. When that's all been placed, or even beforehand, and you remember what it needs to be done, remove all of the old existing GPSs the drone and the blueprint come with. 
highlight the very first of your new GPSs, scroll down and reset that waypoint. This tells the remote block itself and the game's programming. This has all been changed and now this is the new set of instructions and it is a lot more stable when highlighting and resetting that waypoint before triggering. From there, you don't need absolutely anything else. It is all set up and let's do one last trigger. Once the batteries are all nice and full, obviously once the batteries get to 15% and below, it will return to base as it does not have enough power to continue. You can either start this timer or trigger it as I will, and it will go about its business completely automated. It will either go to the ore patch, drill up and fill up with ore when it's found and return to base, empty out and automatically trigger to do the same job until it doesn't find anything. When it doesn't find anything, it will then return to base and cancel and turn off or disable its automatic trigger, which will just wait for itself to empty into your base using a refinery or assemblers, pulling from the drone itself and emptying it. Or you can set this event controller right hang on, right here to look at a cargo container on your base specifically. So now that we've gotten to the first of the GPS gold waypoints, it's triggered that number two timer telling it to drill down. Really simple and as shown in my tutorial video. So this will drill down and either find the ore or not. You are more than happy to cancel its job by just triggering number five, which will send it back to base. So what this tells it to do is go to the second of the, the gold GPSs and return back to base by triggering that number seven RTB timer right here. Once that's all done, it is actually turned off all existing timers to stop any malfunction and mistrigger of timers that shouldn't be triggered at bad times. It will then fly back to the base nice and simply and very quickly while we're waiting I have figured out that event controller that was blank from my in-depth tutorial and all you'd have to do to activate it is to turn it on to allow it to save power by turning its front two thrusters off allowing the remote block not to fight as hard getting to and from the dock high and the gold gps itself from there it went to the dock high the dock close spins around because it is in the backwards precision mode on function to reverse onto the connector as it is it's just now waiting for your refinery or in this case this sorter to drain all of its contents out to automatically trigger but since we triggered the no all found the auto trigger is turned off telling it not to go again all you'd have to do from here if it failed or the battery was triggered because it was low go ahead and trigger it again and it'll go about its business from here i guarantee you it will find the gold ore using the trash disintegrator because we need to remove any and all stone from this design as fast as possible it's just the way the game works hope this was informative for you make sure you check out that video and stay sharp till next time as always see ya